Welcome to Doc Talk. Today we're going to talk about the importance to have access to off-market properties. So Frank, what is an off-market property first off? Off-market property is one that we have not listed in the MLS, but I know of sellers that do want to sell. From a buyer's perspective, I mean, the county won't hear about the sales price for one thing. Uh, there's less competition for them buying a home, so nobody competing offers, multiple offers, there's a chance that won't happen. But then on the flip side for a seller, a seller knows this, or at least I educate the seller of this, that, hey, there is no competition, so we need to get top dollar. The county's not gonna know what they pay for the property, so let's ask top dollar for this property, and we usually get it. Yep, yep. And it is, like I said, it's a benefit for both in the right situation. Uh, but a lot of times, sellers just not ready to sell, not ready to list. And they just, if the right number comes along, then they'll sell. How often do you sell these off-market properties? Oh my gosh, I sold one this week. I had a, a closing that was on Canyon Lake that was off-market. So I have a, a database of sellers that are ready to sell in properties that the timing is just not right. So um, if we've got buyers that, you know, inquire, there's a good chance we could get them under contract on one of our listings that we do not have on the market yet. Yep, and one thing that we are actually right at the Lake Dunlap Dam. They're, they're about a month out from finishing construction at the time this video is shot. This lake is on fire. Its inventory is extremely low. It, and pretty much anything that's listed on this lake just flies off the market. But about half of what sells on this lake sells off market through us, which is, phenomenal. We sell four to five times the volume of our closest competitor. Right. And of that volume, I'd say 90% is waterfront property. And I think the last time I looked, about 20 to 30% of those sales never hit the market. Right. So again, if you're relying on Zillow. Well, Zillow is delayed. It's like a day or two behind when a property actually hits the MLS. Yeah. It's delayed. So if you're waiting on Zillow or Realtor.com to give you a, a home that you might want to purchase, you, you're behind the curve. I've actually got two on Dunlap that are going to be listing here shortly that I've already got agents lined up to go see. So if you wait until it hits the MLS or the Zillow, you, you could miss out on these sales. Hunter and I both live on Lake Dunlap. I lived on Lake McQueenie. You lived on almost all of these lakes. <laughs> uh, Hagen Cole, our buyer's agent, he, he has a home on Lake Dunlap. We know these communities. We have our ear to the ground of listings that may be coming up. And sellers come to us because we do sell a majority of the properties on the Guadalupe Lakes. Read our reviews, especially for the ones for Hagen Cole, who represents most of the buyers here on the central Texas Guadalupe Lakes. You'll see quite a few of them mention the fact that they loved that they had access and purchased a property that nobody else knew about. So if you're in the market for waterfront real estate in Central Texas, please give us a call because otherwise you might miss out on that perfect lake house. <music>